When I bought my woodland back in November 2021, there was a dirt track that runs up to the section of woods that I own. However, the company that had previously made this track had not reinforced it with any form of hardcore. As a result, once it rains for a few weeks, the track becomes incredibly boggy and as it's clay, deep ruts occur. It's not so bad driving up the track, but the difficulty comes when I go to pull into the woods and turn the van around and then pull away. It creates deep ruts and the clay just turns to mush. In addition to this, over that winter, the hunt had passed through my woodland with over 20 horses and 40 odd hounds. This added to the mess of the area that I put my van into and the ruts that the horses had made had then dried over the summer. I looked into buying hardcore to make a solid area to park a vehicle on, but the cost of this was just not worth it. And so I regularly browsed Facebook Marketplace, looking for free hardcore and broken up paving slabs. The search terms I used were literally paving slabs, bricks, or hardcore. To my surprise, there were plenty of people within a five kilometer radius of where I live, willingly giving this away for free upon collection. And so on a weekly basis, we would head to these houses, collect the hardcore in sacks, and drive these up to the woods whilst the track was still dry. It was the perfect time of year to do it. There is a drainage ditch which runs either side of the parking area that we were making. And so in order to make sure that we won't reverse into this ditch, we needed to create a barrier that was clear and obvious, yet still blended in well with the surrounding wooden environment. Given we had plenty of hazel nearby, we opted to make a small woven fence from the dead wood pile near the track. After the first batch of broken bricks and slabs were laid down, we noticed it was actually easier to lay the slabs down first and then break them up with a hammer. That way, the slabs tended to conform more to the ground ruts as opposed to rolling away on the uneven ground. We did consider leaving the slabs as they were, but we figured if we drove over them, some might kick up and damage the underbody of the car.
With the majority of the clay ruts now covered with the broken slabs, Dad began to make work on building a gate at the entrance of the woods. For this, he used his favourite building resource, pallet wood. Now, this is no ordinary pallet. The general pallet size is approximately a one metre square. But if you look for companies that require goods sent by length, it's often possible to find larger ones with thicker and wider planking. The pallet that Dad found was 13 feet long and around 41 inches wide. This enables a pair of gates to be constructed from just one pallet. Each gate would be roughly 6 foot 3 inches wide, which allowed some of the end nail holes to be cut out. This particular size pallet was used for the delivery of coated metal for a gate company. Here in the UK, it is sometimes possible to collect pallets for free if you first ask the company if you can collect them. Industrial estates are often a good place to start your search. Maybe take a handsaw or battery powered saw to cut any large pallets to the length and width of your vehicle. Once Dad had dismantled the large pallet, he built a frame and secured the individual slats together, leaving space between each slat. He then added some diagonal braces to support each gate panel. Within a few hours, he had finished the gates and they were ready to put on the gate posts up in the woods. Now as most of you know, my dad doesn't shy away from physical labour. And so whilst I was out making a separate film, he asked if he could crack on with getting the gate posts in the ground while the weather was still good. And so he dug two deep holes, which, let me tell you, isn't easy in clay that has gone rock hard over the summer months. Mind you, wet clay is even harder to dig up. Once the holes were deep enough, he put the 4x4 gate posts in, he had reclaimed these from his yard, he levelled them up and then secured them in place with some postcrete which is fast drying. Now, it's been such a dry summer. We've had a really, really kind of, well, it's a drought. It's actually been classed as a drought here in the south of the UK this year. Um, so this hasn't been properly, you right there? <laughs> this hasn't been properly tested because this clay here is 30 to 40 centimeters deep, maybe even deeper. So come full winter time, this whole track where dad is back there, gets absolutely bogged down with clay and the cars just bottom out no matter how much of a lift kit you've got. The clay just keeps digging in, digging in, digging in. So eventually myself and hope, hopefully the other woodland owners will come up with some idea to get the main track done. The issue was, was all the horses when they came through here absolutely trampled up the clay, deep, deep ruts. The clay then dried and myself, my daughter, two-year-old daughter, she was tripping over on them, nearly did her ankle in and it just became really a bit of a mess, a boggy mess. This is the part of my woodland where a lots of water, it kind of slopes down. You can see it slopes that way, so it can sit here. 
but it's also the only part that I tend to drive in. So, had to do something. That's where the paving slabs came in. And now we're just working on a, uh, some gates just at the end. We're trying to make it look as sort of nice as possible, but it has to still be an area to take the car. Ideally, on top of this, I'd want something like hardcore scalpings, sub base. That costs a lot of money. So for the moment, I'm just gonna go this winter, see how it goes on this. If it starts getting really uneven and the clay, the paving slabs start going through the clay, then I'm gonna to have to change it up. But let's go and check out what Dad's doing up there. Oh, Jax is here as well. The gate hinges were old ones, having been in Dad's workshop for at least 30 years, but they were still usable after he cleaned them with a wire brush and oiled them. As we were fixing the gates on sloping ground, we needed to make sure that when they opened, they were clear of the highest point of the ground. We also needed to allow for the weight of the gate to pull down against the posts as well. And so this is pretty much it, the finished woodland car park. Uh, you can see where we've got to with the hardcore. Remember, that's all free from Facebook Marketplace. Just typing in paving slabs, hardcore, and that's it really. And uh, that, most of the time just getting paving slabs because it's easy to lay them flat, crack them down with a coal hammer, and then um, break them up. So that's as far as we've got, all totally free. Obviously the sticks are free because the, the hazel sticks are from my woodland too. And the gates were free because it's recycled pallet wood that Dad had. So cheers Dad if you're watching, appreciate you helping out with the gates there. Ideally I just want that hardcore to come to the end here and then it will be finished and ready. So to about level with where the back tyre is. And then this is all quite hard forest floor where the van is here. This shouldn't get too boggy in the winter, it should be enough because I don't want hardcore coming all the way through the woods, you know, as much as I just don't like the stuff really, it doesn't look good, but at the same time it serves a practical purpose of keeping my vehicle being able to come in and out so that I can take, you know, the tools and resources if we're making something in and out of the woods. Now it started to sink since we've had some wet weather, I'll just show you, it started to like go down a bit. If I turn the camera around, and so you can see the kind of uh, depressions where the car tyres have come through, and this is still raised where I haven't driven over it. I probably should hit it down a bit with a hammer when it's soft with a sledgehammer. But you see it's all it's all compressed down quite nicely and quite flat. Certainly here, look, you can see it's just squished down, and that's where I think the paving slabs was almost better than individual pieces of hardcore. In an ideal world, that would be the kind of base, and then I would put hardcore on top of that, and then maybe a sub-base layer on top of that. That costs a lot of money it's not cheap even just to do this area here it's going to cost a lot of money and you can't really find sub base much of it for free on uh, facebook marketplace or any of those sites and you can't really find the hardcore much hardcore anyway you have to get quite lucky where there's been a big job lot by someone so this is it for now i'm going to go with it this winter see how it goes and i can always put more slabs on top and crack them up each time, you know, just on the ruts where the car comes in. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate guys. This is a real weird episode to go on TA Outdoors, but you know, it's part of the Woodland Life series. It's part of my journey into managing my own woodland. There was no area to park my car or my family, my, my wife to park her car when she gets here. And so it, with, little, with little kids that we've got, really young children, two year old and, and a five month old, you know, it was important for us to be able to drive them in on the worst weather days. I don't mind walking in, um, but for them, yeah, they're so little, it's a fair old walk to get them in. So this is part of my journey into woodland management and it's, I'm learning all the time and I'm trying to do things cheap or free where possible and use as much of the wooden resources that I have around me. Obviously that's not a wooden resource, but it's as good as I can get it. I've tried to make it neat, weaving in the sticks and things like that. I guess I could put soil layer over on top um, but I think it's just going to wash away. So we'll leave it as it is for now. Thanks so much for watching and joining me on the journey of the Woodland Life series. If you're interested in this sort of thing and you did enjoy the video, uh, I'll put a link to the Woodland Life playlist in the description below or up in the pinned comment. And yeah, subscribe if you want to. I do appreciate all of you guys watching the videos. Thank you. And um, got lots of good stuff coming up. It's still such hot weather. It's difficult to do some of the projects that I want to do and the camping things that I want to do, bushcraft, etc. But it's coming. So thank you for your patience. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Oh, an update on the pizza oven. It's, a, it's, it's coming. It's coming. Just be patient with me. We've got cool things coming up for that. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, and don't forget, subscribe to Dad's channel, TA Fishing. Link in the description. See you in a bit.